I can't say no to a sick ride for the weekend. I thought this was a perfect opportunity to make a little video for people who are just receiving their car and are wondering what it's like to live with the Tesla without the supercharging network. This was just my personal experiment to try and branch away from Tesla's supercharging network. It definitely is far superior from any other charging method um, besides just using your own charger that the car comes with at home. I would say that's the easiest, but it's not possible for everyone. You definitely have outside options like Electrify America, ChargePoint, EVgo, or even free options like Volta. There are different adapters for different cars and not all of them are compatible. The car does come with a J1772 adapter. That's an adapter that you can put on another charger in order to charge your Tesla. Not all ways to charge are compatible. For example, this one, CSS, actually has a physical blockage it's simply not compatible so the easiest way to check is if it says tesla that means that they'll have something like a wall connector there and it's actually quick charging so for example this is an ev go station that has different outlets uh, it had all four level two is compatible uh, and of course that tesla outlet that's the way to go no adapter needed and this one in particular was relatively quick as well I thought this test would be easy, just find a connector and that will be it. But honestly, I've come to a conclusion that not everything is just as reliable as the next. So chargers do have a long way to go and the supercharging network is far more reliable than any other way to charge. If you are new to owning a Tesla, it might be confusing and you don't know what it actually means when you see a kilowatt or how fast your charger will charge. And here's a little cheat sheet for you if you are new. Pricing for charging will also vary greatly. If your charger is slower, it's going to be cheaper to charge than if it's faster. Faster charge will always be more expensive. This is a great example. I paid 42 cents while I was grabbing this delicious rice drink from my last video. But if you charge fast, you're gonna get something more like this. There's also very slow options with the charging limit, such as at the mall. I found this Volta here. I was able to charge for two hours, getting about 20 miles of range, which is great. It'll bring you to and from the mall. It's always better to charge than not charge and stand on a parking spot without being connected. Sometimes there will be a time limit or it will be completely free. Um, anything's better than just parking, but so far I would say EVgo has been the most reliable app. Prices are slightly cheaper. If you have questions about any extra charging that I looked at or charging within the supercharging network or literally anything about your car, please write them in the comment section and we can talk about it in case you have a question. <laughs> Yeah, right below. Take care.